Hey everyone, I hope everybody had a good weekend. I had a pretty good one myself. Um, as you guys saw Friday, I did a video where I showed off all of my, you know, my tornado movies and video compilations. Well, today I'm just going to be showing off all of my volcano movies and uh, compilations. Now, just like tornadoes, I had a huge fascination with volcanoes growing up. I don't know if it was, you know, their destruct, their destruction, their their beauty. You know, I wasn't really sure what drawn me to it, you know. But it was just a, it was another, I guess you could say, national disaster that I latched onto, just like tornadoes. Um, you know, growing up, I just had a huge fascination with both of them, and I would try and collect every single, you know, uh, movie, book, you know, picture, pretty much everything that I could related to both tornadoes and volcanoes. And, um, you know, now that I'm older, I don't have a, now that I'm older, I sort of outgrown that, but I still do have, um, a, a sort of a, a fascination with them, you know, and it's, I, I really don't know if it's because of their power, you know, the fact that they can destroy whole towns, like volcanoes, you know, they can destroy towns, uh, you know, by either, uh, you know, they can blow things up with fireballs or, if it's the lava, just, I, I don't know what it is about volcanoes that has always drawn me to them, but I've always been really interested in them, and, um, you know, this is, uh, I don't have as much, uh, videos as I do tornadoes, because I was, I was always more into tornadoes as opposed to volcanoes, but I've got a, a few right there, so, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, get into it and start showing them off. The first ones I'm going to show off are more like video compilations. They're more uh, documentaries uh, that have uh, lots of great, you know, footage of volcanoes. Um, the first uh, set I'm going to show off is this t Volcano Fountains of Fire 2 VHS uh, set right here, and um, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit of uh, sun damage right there. But um, basically, this is a documentary. You know about volcanoes. Um, there's a section in it that goes. Uh, they go to Hawaii, to uh, you know, um, uh, the in, during the documentary, they um, it goes to Hawaii and they talk about some of the most active volcanoes on Earth, like Kilauea, which is a uh, a very one of the most active volcanoes on Earth, and it was uh, the tallest volcano on Earth. And um, there's a uh, you know people talking about the. Uh, volcanoes there and um there's also footage of the the uh, native uh people that live in hawaii doing their different um their dances and their rituals and it talks about you know how volcanoes are a part of the earth you know they create islands you know hawaii was you know created by you know volcanic ash and uh, lava, you know, and, um, it goes into a lot about that, you know, I think that's another reason why I like volcanoes, is that, as opposed to tornadoes that basically just destroy everything, volcanoes can both destroy and create, you know, pretty much all the, uh, you know, the islands of Hawaii were created by volcan vol volcanic, um, you know, lava, and, um, that's, I think, one thing that's, uh, really cool about it. Also, you know, you can go back and connect volcanoes with, um, like they talk about in the documentary, you talk about different gods that, uh, you know, have, uh, powerful gods that are connected to volcanoes, and they go into a little bit of, um, you know, how just the power of them gives, uh, the, you know, or from the gods, or, or, or whatever, you know, it, um, it's been a while since I watched this, so I really don't remember, um, all the details about it, but if, you know, if you're one of those people that believe that every, um, everything is, there's a God for everything, like there's a God for the sun, there's a God for the moon, you know, there's also a God for volcanoes, and, you know, they're both destructive, and they can both, both create and destroy earth, and create and destroy lives, and that's always been something that's drawn me to them, and that's a, it's a pretty good documentary. It's got a lot of footage of it. I mean, it's pretty old, I th I'd say. Well, I mean, it's not really old. I think I got this in the 90s. Um, can't really remember, but yeah, I've had that. This is probably the, again, one of the older tapes that I've had, that I have in my collection. This next one is just a video compilation called Killer Volcanoes. You know, just tons of great volcanic footage in this one. Um, you know, there's of course a narration over it that talks about volcanoes, but mostly this is just, you know, a footage of, uh, you know, different volcanoes. 
One thing that's cool is that it has a lot of really cool footage of uh, the Mount St. Helens eruption. And um, Mount St. Helens at the at uh, this point was, or I think still is, I think uh, Mount St. Helens still is uh, the biggest volcanic eruption um, ever. And um, I was really fascinated with Mount St. Helens, you know. Um, I also have the movie, which I'll show off in a minute, that they made about the... Uh, you know, the eruption of Mount St. Helens, and I was really interested in it. I actually wrote a pa paper in my, uh, during my elementary school about Mount St. Helens, and the, uh, the principal uh, read it, and he was really impressed by it. The next one is uh, Volcanoes of Volcanic Fury. Again, a uh, pretty good documentary about, you know, just um, different volcano footage and, you know, different things that, different volcanoes from around the world. A lot of these uh, documentaries pretty much have the same information in them, so there's not really the mostly the main reason to that I have most of these is because there's different uh, video footage of volcanoes, you know, because there's only so much that it can say. A lot of these tapes I think came out in the 90s, I'd say. So, you know, this next one, blazing, uh, blazing craters, yeah. That's a pretty cool photo right there. And I like the back, too. It's just a big eruption of, you know, a volcano right there. And then this is one of my National Geographic tapes, Volcano. And this is, um, this documentary follows, um, I forget the names of the scientists. Um, let me see if their names are on the back here. Oh, Maurice and Katina Kraft is their names. And they're basically volcanic scientists. And they, at one point, were, um, you know, very, very well respected when they were alive. Um, this after, Shortly after this documentary was made, they both end up uh, being killed in an um, earthquake. But it pretty much just follows them going through uh, different volcanoes and taking doing studies and stuff. Um, one thing when I was younger is that... Um, you know, one thing that always fascinated me about volcanoes was the uh, protective uh, suits that they wear, the volcano, you know, the volcanic scientists that they would wear to get closer to the lava. For some, it, that always just really fascinated me, and it was always something that I kind of wanted to do. Same thing with storm chasing, you know, that was, I either wanted to be a storm chaser or a, you know, or a volcanologist when I was younger, you know, and it, of course, now that I'm older, I know oh, I would probably never be able to do that. But, um, you know, back when I was younger, it was always something that really interests me to do. This last one is called Volcanoes Rivers of Death, which, again, is, is, you know, pretty much the same as the rest of the documentaries. But, you know, again, lots of great volcanic footage. And then the last uh, sort of documentary I have is... Uh, Eruption destruction. Some of the titles of these are, are pretty fun are pretty funny too. Blazing craters and you know river of death and then eruption destruction. Yeah. But this one's a good one as well. And now the last two things I'm gonna show for these two uh, movies that I have, and the first one is the one that I actually talked about earlier, and this is called Saint Helens. And this stars Art uh, Carney. And it's basically just the, the story about, you know, Mount St. Helens erupting in, um, you know, erupting in Washington. And it's about the volcanologist um, David, uh, well, his real name uh, is David Johnston. But in the movie, uh, his he changed, uh, they changed the name to J David Jackson. And um, it's basically just him, uh, you know, studying um, Mount St. Helens and, leading up to the eruption and trying to warn the townspeople about it and of course they don't believe him because you know the um nothing's ever really happened especially Harry Truman who is played by Art Connery in this film and uh Harry Truman was the person that stayed up on Mount St. Helens for years like he lived there for I don't know how many years and he was just this old man who lived up in the mountain and of course he never believed it when people said oh yeah the they're supposedly um, the uh, mountains going to erupt. He never believed them. He stayed there uh, his, you know, his entire life. He's never like 
and um, he ended up being killed by the eruption of Mount St. Helens. But this is a you know, really old tape, as you can see. It's all torn up so bad, but this is just one movie that I just really enjoy. It's kind of a boring movie, actually, because nothing really happens until the very end when the volcano eruption. It's mostly just about the study of it. But, um, yeah, it's I, I really enjoyed it for, for what it was, and it's, um... Yeah, again, I've always had a fascination with Mount St. Helens. And now the next one is probably a movie I'm sure a lot of people have seen, but it's called Dante's Peak with um, Pierce Bronson and, and Linda Hamilton. You know, basically a volcano's eruption, uh, erupting, and Linda Linda Hamilton is uh, the mayor of the city, and, you know, it's a big volcanic eruption. It's a really good movie. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this. Uh, I do really like, and I really enjoyed this one as well. This one seemed to be pretty violent, you know, especially the scenes like, um, I don't want to give anything away, but there's some scenes that are, that are pretty, like I said, I, I would say overly violent, especially, you know, when people were getting burned by the, uh, the hot lava or in the opening scene, a, uh, a big volcanic rock comes down and, and, and hits a woman in the head and you can see blood just running off of her face. Um... This next uh, documentary is called Ring of Fire. It's been years since I watched it, but uh, this was presented in IMAX. and um, I got this for a pretty cheap price somewhere. I can't remember, but it's been a long time since I saw this, but I, th I thought it was a pretty good documentary for what it was. And the last one is probably the uh, one volcano movie that I think everyone has probably seen, and it's just Volcano with Tommy Lee Jones. And this basically is a film when um, a volcano erupts under... Uh, you know, New York City, and, um, it's a really good, you know, destructive movie, you know, this is probably one of the more, like, this one and Twister are probably the two best, like, sort of national disaster type films, uh, in my opinion, you know, the, the effects in this movie are really good, you know, the volcano look really realistic, especially the lava in this one. And, um, yeah, this is probably the one that everybody, that a lot of people probably know about and have seen, and I, I really enjoy it. And anyway, guys, uh, that is my, you know, video showing off my volcano, um, uh, you know, films and documentaries that I own. Um, you know, be sure to, uh, let me know what you guys think about this collection, and if you guys have any interest in volcanoes or tornadoes, you know, definitely let me know, and let me know what is it, what is it about them that draws you to them, you know, because there's different things for me, like, I have different reasons on what draws me to them, so, you know, um, if you guys have any opinion on them, uh, be, be sure to let me know. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a, a really big video coming up this week. I'm going to be talking about my top favorite childhood movies, and it's going to be a big undertaking because I have so many movies I'm going to be talking about. It's probably going to be a two-part video, but um, I plan to do that sometime at the end of this week, so uh, stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, I hope everybody is doing well. I uh, hope everybody had a good weekend and has a good week. And I will be seeing you guys later.